Hello everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog quickfire guide on crawling subfolders and subdomains. First up, let's talk about crawling subfolders. To crawl a subfolder, simply insert the subfolder you wish to crawl and use this switcher here to toggle to subfolder. Then click start and it will crawl within the subfolder that you've entered. So for example, the iPhone subfolder and all URLs within it that you can find from that subfolder. Now there are a couple of caveats to this. Number one, the subfolder has to resolve with 200 response. It can't be a 404, for example. And number two, it needs to have a trailing slash on the end, like this example here, so we can recognize it as a subfolder and that you wish to crawl within it. Now there is a way to crawl subfolders without a trailing slash on the end, and let's do that here. For example, admiral.com and the travel insurance subfolder. We just need to go to config, include, and then put input the subfolder that you wish to crawl. Remembering not to include a training slash on the end because obviously it doesn't have one. And then click start and we'll see that the travel insurance subfolder is now crawled. Now let's talk about crawling subdomains. So by default, the SEO spider will crawl the subdomain you enter forward. So in this example here, it will call the www of helpscout.com and any other subdomains that it encounters will appear under the external tab. So for example, there's developer.helpscout and there may be some others, secure.helpscout, etc. Now there's a couple of ways that you can call all subdomains. Number one is to use a switcher again and just choose all subdomains. This will mean that they appear under the internal tab because you're crawling them. So developer.helpscout and again, there might be some others there in the works, docs, status, etc. Another way to do this is to remove the W's and just crawl from the root. That means by default, it will crawl any subdomains it encounters and treat them as in internal again. So again, you can see developer and so on and other subdomains in there as well. That's it from crawling subfolders and subdomains. If you have any questions, do just let us know. Thanks.